The three functions that we're going to be covering are the if, and, and or. First of all, let's work on the if. The if function will perform a logical test, where if it's true, it returns one value, or if it's false, another. So I want to be able to work on the commission here and say, okay, those uh, people who made a total sales of $20 million or more will get a commission. So if it equals $20 million or more, either say in text, you get a commission, or you can actually do some calculations and say, okay, take the total sales and multiply it by a number. And if they don't get a commission, you can type in zero or just say you're fired. In any case, let me go ahead and show you. Let's type in the equals key on the keyboard to start it and type in IF, and there it is. And you can see in the pop-up, it's going to check whether condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. Hit the tab key to pop it open so we can see the syntax. And we've got three arguments, one, two, three. First of all is a logical test. So what test we want to give it? We want to say that this cell, and you can see when I have it selected in the cell here, it's E6, has got to be greater than, so use the greater than symbol. And if you want it greater than or equal to, then always put the equals symbol after the greater than or less than, not before it, because if you put it before it, it's going to give you the raspberries, and we don't want that. So always after the greater than or less than symbol. So let's do equals, and then go ahead and type in the number 20 million. The next part of it is that if it's true, go ahead and do this. If it's false, do that. Now, if I want to go ahead and get a little bit more specific or a little bit more help than what I see here, right in the middle of the function, I can always come up here and click on FX, and it opens up the function arguments. So it's a little bit more clear to me. And you can see up at the top here with the logical test that it's true. That, let me click and drag this down below, that E6 is greater than 20 million. And it says true. So if I come over here and I do delete that and do less than, you can see it changes to false. So it's already doing the testing here before I go ahead and fill in the rest of the formula. If it's true, if it's false, do that. So let me go ahead and change that around to greater than. So if it's true, what do we want to do in the true value? Like I said, you can type in text, and if you do text, put it in quotes, otherwise it won't see it as text. But instead, I want to go ahead and click on the collapsible dialog box button and select that cell, E6, hit enter to open it back up, and say E6, I want to multiply it, there's the asterisk, by 0.05%. And you can see the result that if it's true, it's going to be $1,674,088.90. Okay, if it's false, we can just type in zero and they get nothing. And that's it. Go ahead and click okie dokie and there you go. Let's go ahead and see what it's going to look like for the rest of the employees here by hovering over the lower right hand corner of the cell that contains the function that I just entered until I can see a black cross. And then I can go ahead and double click really fast to do an automatic copy and paste or autofill for that formula or function in the remainder of the cells. You can see that when I double click on it, it's a relative reference, so depending upon where it is, relatively speaking, instead of back in row 6, it's in row 9, so it's pulling over the total sales for Homer Simpson, the cell here, and seeing if it's greater than or equal to 20 million, and it's not. So you can see that if it's not true, you get a big fat zero. So is that greater than 20 million? No. Is that greater than 20 million? No. Now let's go ahead and throw in the AND and OR functions. And let me go ahead and go over to the promotion column for Max Klinger. And what I want to do is I want to use the if function because, as you recall, you get a logical test. And for this test, I want to say if the total sales is greater than 20 million and they also have to meet another condition or criteria, three years of service is more than five years, then go ahead and let's put in text, they get a promotion. So if I type in equals and I type in if, and there's the if, hit the tab key to pop it open. I only get one logical test. But if I go ahead and insert another function within the uh, if function, that's called nesting, a function within a function, because I need to get more out of the function than just one logical test. I need two, you could do three, four, or as many as you want with the and function, because it means that it has to meet all these conditions that I set up. So if I type in and, the first couple of letters, there it is, and, it says checks whether all arguments are true and returns true if all arguments are true. How many arguments do you want? Well, as many as you want. Let's go ahead and hit the tab key to pop it open. All of a sudden now, it's not focusing on the if, it's focusing on the and function here, and you can have as many logical arguments as you want. You can see it says one, comma, two, comma, well, then it goes dot, dot, etc. So, it has to have this cell, E6, wherein it's gotta be greater than or equal to 20 million, that's one test. 
and then to go to the next part of the AND function, the second test, hit the comma key on the keyboard. So now I'm in the logical test 2, and we got to say it's going to be D6 has got to be greater than 5 years of service. Okay, see if this makes sense. So the first test for the AND function is that it's got to be greater than 20 million for the total sales. And then also it has to be greater than 5 years of service. So two tests, it has to meet both. That's where AND comes in. It has to meet that and that, and if it doesn't, it comes out false. And then go ahead and close the parentheses. So now once we close it, we're outside of the AND function, and we're back into the IF. So down below in the syntax, we got IF, this logical test, just one logical test? No. We went inside it and said AND. So there's two logical tests within the logical test. So it looks inside here and it says the AND. Let's see what that's about. And Excel looks at this one and that one, and both of them have to be true. If both of them are true, then let's go to the next part in the IF function. The value IF true, so we hit the comma on the keyboard. Now that's in bold. And we can say open quotes, promotion. And then to go to the faults, hit the comma, now that's in bold, and then we can also do in quotes, fired. Let's go ahead and close the parentheses. So we have two sets, we have the inner, and then we have the outer for the if, and then go ahead and hit enter. Hey, he got a promotion because this met both conditions where it had to be greater than 20 million and greater than five years of service. So if I go ahead and select the cell and I want to copy it to the remainder of the cells down below for the rest of the employees, again, hover over the lower right hand corner, click and drag the black cross down. Oh, boy, we're firing a lot of people. Hmm. Let's just say if they made more than $20 million in sales or they're here longer than five years, let's keep them on. We're kind of nice guys. So that's where we come into the OR function. The AND, let me come back up here, double click had to meet both logical tests. The OR means it just has to meet one or the other. Or you can have more than two logical tests. You can have as many as you want. So if I come in here and let's delete this. So we're back to the beginning of the IF function. We only get one logical test, but if I type in the OR function, and there you go, it says checks whether any of the arguments are true, any of them. You can have 20 arguments, just one of them has to be true. And then go ahead and hit the tab key to pop it open. You got one argument, two arguments, three arguments, you can go nuts. So again, the argument is, is that this cell has to be greater than or equal to 20 million. And let's go ahead and do a comma so we can go to the second test for the OR function. So it has to be greater than 20 million or, let's select that cell, it has to be greater than five years of service, okay? And then to go ahead and stop all these tests, we're gonna close the parentheses. So you have the OR function with the first test, the second test, for the logical test of the IF function here, both of these. And if it meets one or the other, then promotion, if it doesn't meet either one of these, then that person's fired. So hit enter. Let's go ahead and select the cell. Hover over the lower right hand corner, get the black cross, click and drag down, and only one's fired. So it's this one right here who didn't meet either or. They didn't get more than $20 million, nor were they over five years. Remember, I said it had to be more than five years, not equal to five years. So if you go ahead and double click, you can see right there the test D7, the cell right here has to be more than five, greater than five. Or if I said equals, remember put it on the right hand side of the uh, greater than or less than symbol, hit enter, he gets the promotion. But then I get a little tag here that says, hmm, this formula is inconsistent. Why is it? Because you didn't use, when I double click, the equals in any of the other formulas, just this one. Let me hit the escape key, undo that, he's back to being fired. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.